Hello my dear friends and welcome again to Adventure Story Channel videos. Today my dear friends we will talk about the hydraulic unit of MAN BMW 7S80 ME C9.2 one set installed uh, in most of this kind of vessels like VLCCs and some vessels like uh, cargo ships which uh, handling grains or some kinds of uh, this cargo first of all i like to tell you that we have a lot of interesting material here and you need to stay here on the channel and you need to subscribe don't forget to press the button and don't forget also to press the bell button so you will get any future notifications about any information and videos which will be very very useful for you so today we will make this demonstration of assembly and then we will proceed with two exams with disassembly and the assembly procedure so let's take a quickly look with the demonstration don't forget to visit also the community tab which is really really important first of all here as you can see we will remove the sensors and all the sensors must be carefully handled because this is the eyes of the engine this is the sensing points that will deliver, deliver all the necessary uh, information to the main controlling and operating panel so FIVA disassembly also these all cables it's not necessary here <coughs> because we can damage them the hydraulics and the pressures must be depressurized and there is also a, a device that you can attach and check that there is not any presence of pressure so if you have dealing with high pressure uh, units you always must be verified that there is not any kind of pressure or some pressure reserved and presented in the system So for here, here you will have some leakages for sure, some oil, some fuel will come. This you cannot avoid, but you can be prepared for that by putting there some covers so all the oil will be not sprayed uh, around uh, on the, end, uh, the main engine. <coughs> there is a lot of piping here around, which was, which must be removed, draining piping some uh, piping which indicates the condition of your pump oil spill pipe uh, all these pipes probably uh, they have some kind of uh, indication in case and we have removed all the unit total so it was removed complete so i will make the same steps here and as you can see mostly it's a pipe removing and some bolts and some like that uh, items <coughs> so quickly quickly we will be done that one so this is the exam and let's take a close view okay so if you remove this sensor of these sensors uh, nothing will be changed uh, it's not matter with what step uh, you will do such disassembly <coughs> step arrow step arrow so as i remember it started somewhere uh, from here all these pipings will be removed but for sure we will need to verify that everything is uh, isolated and as you can see from this handle we can see that the fuel is still uh, connected first of all for sure we will need to verify that our engine is being uh, isolated and there is not any kind of 
uh, pressure and fuel uh, will be opened so let's see okay this is the bolts here it's really really tiny bolts <laughs> so that's why I was pressing there and nothing uh, happened so this we will pick up by hand come on okay The lubricator this is the lubricator this is the fuel valve and this is our fuel booster pump <coughs> let's see step error and let's see which one we will select it uh, next is the pipings here one moment which one of these will be selected so uh, the cleanliness of the oil it plays a really really a uh, big role now here we are it's really really tiny bolts the cleanliness will play a big role for your um, valves for your system itself for the hydraulic system it really really plays a big role because uh, the quality really really matters in such system which has a tremendous pressure and here the pressure can reach uh, about 300 bars so we dismantling also here also here and then we remove the piping itself by hand so now it is removing the piping so the step here really uh, the steps in, in this case really doesn't matter but first of all you will need to secure your cable first of all this is the most important thing because this sensor is really really matters and in some points maybe you will not have any of them on the vessel and it's really really important to save them and protect them so as you can see if I take out this pipe or another pipe and nothing changed really but I will try as much possible to follow uh, the steps here so confirm please select the tool it's here and as I have seen in the dry dock, the jobs that have been done was overhauling all this fuel booster from here. So the stats only remain here. And what I was really, really interested that there was not any inspection of uh, the accumulators here because we was in dry dock and it's a very, very good opportunity to make a major overhauling of uh, the hydraulic cylinder unit complete because this is the time when you have a, a lot of time for making such jobs and also this thing it's really really important that uh, will be done during the dry dock because you have time and in most cases during the sailing you are not able to touch these items and to do uh, such jobs because you do not have time the vessel is uh, on sailing and uh, there is a need for reach the port as soon as ordered from uh, the orders that vessel uh, receives and there is really really no time for spend so here we are here we are my dear friends let's see what pipings 
remain here and what we will need to disconnect what else we need for disconnecting uh, this piping so this step no it's not here step arrow step arrow so i believe we need to go somewhere else uh, to check which kind of steps will be okay it's here ah it's the okay <coughs> this is a clamp of the piping okay we will dismantle also here and then step by step we will dismantle also that one here this one okay and now everything is free we can uh, remove our cylinder a uh, unit complete <coughs> by pulling it to the side and outside so we have finished and directly we will go to make the assembly uh, of our uh, hydraulic cylinder unit Whoop one more time installation exam <coughs> really i have seen these guys for working on the dry dock they I was asking the special tools and i was the one who supply all the special tools for this uh, hydraulics that need it it's really really different uh, if you compare other kind of uh, equipment of hydraulic tools uh, it's really really different because the size is really really small and the problem that I have faced it was really really difficult to find the special tools and the vessel was only five years old just imagine and what a mess was there for uh, the proper storage of um, the special tools really it takes a lot of time and a lot of power just only to find to fix them to test them if they are working properly because we get also a lot of problems that the hydraulics was not working and uh, there was necessary to replace them and also one a problem that we get was that uh, the dry dock itself uh, they do not provide any kind of this such equipment and also this is a delay that can be uh, done to the vessel itself but the delay in our case was not from our side was from uh, the dry dock personnel they really really delay the installation of the scrubber and mostly of the engine jobs was finished already whatever we have planned on our schedule for the dry dock we have finished it all uh, there was not any job remained and just imagine my dear friends we make uh, additional jobs uh, from day to day because we have finished all the jobs that we have made we we stay almost two months on the dry dock and really really we make most of the jobs uh, there so after the dry dock also we left and we sailed to uh, for loading and after that we made also directly we start to make the overhauling of number one diesel generator which was also eight cylinder uh, engine this really really big engines eight cylinder uh, really really I prefer six cylinder engines because uh, they are more compact and there is less cylinder heads to be lapping and to be made because everything uh, must be tested before the assembling you really really need time and really uh, the time that we make that uh, overhauling was very very quick 
because we had already cylinder heads uh, ready everything was ready and one thing that uh, I will tell that we made it really really fast because as uh, I have involved already in such uh, overhaulings many many times and the experience really really uh, help to done that job uh, easily and without any effort if you are making a job many many times uh, it will be very very easy uh, for you to be adjusted and perform uh, that job in any time and very very uh, fast so here we are here we have uh, set it or our sensors back again we have tightened them all and our hydraulic cylinder unit is back again with the high scores thank you my dear friends that you have stay tuned with this video with the assembly and disassembly procedure of hydraulic cylinder unit which is really really important thing for the activation the of the fuel booster pump and the exhaust valve actuator so check the previous videos check the playlist of the simulator there is a lot of material here on this channel and hopefully you will get involved and you will subscribe here and will press all notification with the bell button don't forget my dear friends to stay tuned and always comment and share your opinion and your viewpoint uh, of marine engineering industry Thank you again that you have stay tuned and don't forget to be around here for watching new videos. Bye bye my dear friends.